In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do the invisible slip stitch. I will leave a link in the description box below of everything that I've used in this video. I will also leave a link to the blog post so that you can go and check that out as well. This technique works really well when you're working in a round and want to join seamlessly. You can find that when you do a normal slip stitch and chain one for a double crochet, which is a UK term, US single crochet, you can find that your seam goes a little bit wonky and that can look a little bit unsightly at times. So I found this technique was really good to help eliminate that and just makes your work look a little bit neater and tidier. So this is the point where I would normally um, join into my next stitch and usually there would be a chain one here. I will go into the, the stitch, the first stitch of the round and I will go ahead and pull through for a slip stitch. And that's okay, but sometimes it can just look a little bit unsightly. So this is what I would do instead. When you're ready to join, you're going to pull up a loop on your stitch. And my first stitch is actually this one, which we'll see in just a moment. What we're going to do is we're going to take our crochet hook and go from the back of the work to the front underneath those two loops. We're going to go ahead and um, put that loop onto your crochet hook and then pull it tight. So we're going to cinch it in and then pull it through that loop from the back to the front. You're going to bring your hook round and then your working yarn is going to go underneath your hook like so. So it's not going to be around the back here, it's underneath the hook. We're going to pull up this loop slightly and then we're going to go ahead and do our very first stitch in that stitch. So we'll do a double crochet, so insert the hook, yarn over, pull through and then yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. So that is our first stitch. If you had a stitch marker, you could go ahead and pop a stitch marker into that very first stitch just there. You can then work around your work just as you have been. So I have 21 stitches in my, uh, in my round. So I'm going to go ahead and do those. So we have one, two, three, four, And then here I have my 21st stitch. So that is my last stitch of this round. So again, what I do here is pull up a loop, take my hook and go from the back to the front of that very first stitch, loop it over the hook and pull tight. Pull it through, bringing the working yarn from the front to the back, like so. Pull up a little bit of a loop to start and then do our very first stitch in the base of there. So there we have our first double crochet. So what you'll find is that it's relatively seamless, it looks a lot neater and it prevents the diagonal seam that you can see in a lot of projects. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this tip. If you did, don't forget to share with your friends, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. As I say, all of the links are in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.